Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I don't know how much of it you can see. But it's a white card. Black card, sorry. And I've heat embossed the Magnolia stamp on there. And coloured that in white. Watercoloured. And then obviously the gold sentiments. But I'm going to change it a little bit, only I'm not going to have birthday wishes here, I'm going to have to a wonderful daughter. I have got three birthdays coming up within two weeks. So this is for my middle daughter. No it's not, this one's for my youngest daughter. So to make this card I'm going to make it a 5 by 7 I do not have any um, black tent fold cards, so I'm making my own. And to make that, I have got a piece of black card at 5 inches by 8 inches, and I've scored 1 inch there, which we will fold over and burnish if I can find those and burnish. I've also got a piece but 5 by 7 which we will glue on there and that will make me my tenfold card. So let's pop that on now. She says, come on glue, work. So oh, I am popping that on there, like that, hitting the bottom so that they are even, open it up and that is just off a little bit, there we are. and that a uh, fold bit would be hidden, hidden by a piece of cardstock I have on the inside and this is four and three quarters by six and three quarters might go on the inside for the top of the card I have a piece of gold um, fold card and this is cut at four and a half by six and a half is it? Let me just check that. Yeah, four and a half by six and a half. And then I have another piece of black at four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And that will sit on top there. What the difference in the sizes. So to get started, we will work on this piece. the stamp set. Obviously I'm work using Good Morning Magnolia. Going to be using the flower. Incredible Like You. I think this is retired now but I am going to be using Hope Your Day is as, is as Amazing as You. And then I'm going to be using Family Party and I want to use this sentiment to Wonderful. And then out of here, I'm going to be using my own daughter. And on the inside, I'm just going to put happy birthday. So, to get started, we need to stamp the magnolia. And I'm going to heat emboss that in black. So we need to get our page clean. So we don't have any stray bits of embossing powder on our card. Bring in our stamp. Oh, I know what I did. I didn't use that. 
I used this. My stamp positioner. That is so I could stamp all my, put all my stamps on and stamp them all at the same time. Not so much all at the same time, but to make sure they all fit. So, wishing you an amazing day down there. That fits nice, so I am just going to stamp them one at a time, but I do want to see if the other ones fit up here. Right, daughter and to a wonderful daughter. Yeah, that can come down a bit. Yeah, I will put them all in when I go to do it for them. First of all, pick up the magnolia. And with my Versamark, ink up the flower. Stamp it down. Now I'm going to do it again. I have got a lovely impression on there. this back in for the next bit of stamping. Right. It's a scrap, some black embossing powder. You can see that. Quite nice. Right, get our heat gun heated up. Put the lid on the verse mark for now. this back in. And I'll start heating up. I'm going to heat up from the bottom first. Sure, I get all the bits. I'm just bending the card over just till it cools sort of kind of cool down flat. Right, 
Right. Next, we're going to do our gold embossing. So I'll pop this on again. I'll stamp in positioner. Let's put that in the middle. And, that. and we shall put our stamps on. This is daughter. So I want that there. This is to a wonderful, put it the right way up. And hope your day is amazing as you are. Right, and we will pick these up. I'm just going to check that they're all straight. They are. And I'm going to use embossing buddy on the area because I don't want gold embossing powder on stray bits. And position the stamps. going to do it again. So afterwards, bring my strap back and my gold embossing powder. Embossing, uh, embossing heat gun on now. all our embossing done. Right. Get rid of that. Don't need that anymore. And get rid of them. We don't need them. Right. I need that. I need some water. And I need a brush. I have this um, watercolour pencil, it's white, and I am going to colour it in with the pencil. So all I'm doing is colouring each of the petals in, in white.
This isn't a Stampin' Up! pencil. I was given a um, set of watercolour pencils for my birthday from one of my daughters. And this is was in that set. I just don't tend to use them very often. Lay down colour. We'll put some water on it to smooth it all out. Look at the picture to see where there are fold ups. Right, that will do for our first round. Now I have got just a normal paintbrush, it's the number six paintbrush, I think, yeah. Some water on the side of me, and all I'm doing is just smoothing it out. You can use um, a blender pen for this. Now, I never did this on the other card. I used craft ink, which by the looks of it, I might have to go back to because this is obviously not as good. I'd have to do layers and layers of it, I think. not showing up very well so nice try I don't like it stage two got some white crafting whisper white crafting I have got a block or I will have a block and I'm just dipping it in the ink And with my paintbrush, wet it a bit, and then we'll, I think I'll wet it too much. But, uh, And just colour all the petals in again. Can't see that one.
Well, it being heat embossed, it doesn't matter if you go on the embossing. The embossing won't take it. With this you'll need to go over it a few times to get how white you want it. Like these folded bits, I want them extra white. again the more you go over it the um, more it will take the streets out went over the Boss in there. Not wetting this too much because obviously this isn't waterproof card or waterproof water card. It's just normal, regular, basic black card. Right, what we're going to do now is heat dry this with the heat gun. And then I want to just go over the fold bits where the plant flower has folded over is some dry that off. And that is how 
that flower has come up. I think it's come up really pretty. All right, I have got a bit of white ink that's come out of the flower. So all I'm going to do is just wipe it with the wet paper towel and it's helped it all take off the white dust and just repair this I went a little bit too mad with the cloth Right, next thing I want to do, right, I've got a very th a thinner brush. This is a number three, and I'm just gonna wet this off and make it runny because I want to splatter some dots that's better not holding it properly I do So you can see Alright I'm going to put that just to one side for now and bring in the inside piece because on this all I want to do is stamp happy emboss happy birthday on the inside. So with Versa Mark and happy birthday and pray it straight. Looks it. <laughs> I can't really tell. Right. I'm just tip. Yeah, that'll do. Heat gun, heat it up. Happy birthday for the inside. All right, start putting this together now. I'm just going to be a little bit more generous with the glue.
stick this gold onto our card front. Inside bit in. I know there's only a little border on this one. I will place that under a heavy book to flatten that all out. Well, there's my card. I hope you like it. There's the original one I made. And this is the second one I made. I hope you like that card. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. If you want to uh, be notified of any more cards I upload uh, please press the bell icon and I upload on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.